Good morning guys. We're going fishing today. I got stuff rigged up. You might have caught me on the Instagram live when I was rigging stuff up, but now I'm dark so I gotta change my camera settings. I'm on my way over to pick up Lucas right now. We're gonna go fishing and it'll be a fun time. Hopefully we'll catch something. I've been fishing like three times this week and haven't caught a single fish and you know, I kinda wanna make a video where I actually catch fish. We'll see where today takes us. You got your eye from baby tolling all the time. Of course I do. Honkers right here. I think we're good to go. It's time to catch some fish. <laughs> didn't get very far ranger rick came out and was like hey well you know there isn't fishing on this side of the park i thought there was but i guess i thought wrong so we're gonna go the other way to the other side of the park where they say that you can fish and try some of those ponds out i i just know there's a pond right out there where it's killer you catch so many fish but you know gotta play by the rules so we're gonna head on down that way and see what those ponds have. I mean, I could be good, could just be garbage. Who knows? Well, we've made it to the area of the park where we can fish. So we got probably about total today, we're probably gonna get four to five miles of walking going pond to pond, but Maybe there's fish in here and maybe they'll bite. Maybe we'll catch some freaking donkeys. Who knows? But we'll be out here enjoying the great outdoors like we usually do. Yes, sir. Having a ball doing it. I love the outdoors. Who doesn't love the outdoors? But just seriously, look at this. It's pretty cool. There's a whole lot of nothing out here. Let's get to fishing. That's pond number one right there. We about walked right past it. We couldn't see it because we're coming over this hill. This pond looks beautiful. It's pretty shallow too, and it's rocky. Perfect for this time of year. I bet there's some freaking hogs up in there, and over there, and over there. First fish of the day, largemouth on a chartreuse spinnerbait. I didn't have the chest mount on because I was like, well, I don't really even know if there's fish in here, but Lucas just hooked up on one. I just got this guy, so. I'm gonna put that chest mount on and we're gonna get after it. A little one dollar Walmart spinner bait does work. I was like, I was fishing the jig for probably like 20 minutes and I was like, well, oh, nuts. Josh, figure your life out. But I was fishing that jig and then didn't catch anything for like 20 minutes and then I was like, Maybe they want some flash. And then, switch over to spinnerbait and got bit. And right before I got bit, Lucas pulled one in. So, I think the bite just turned on. Lucas, you get one? Lucas just caught another one. I'm going over towards him. He's got these fish patterned out. I had a kid out fishing me. Chunky. You still fishing that lizard on the shaky head? Yep. I kind of want to try another pond. Let's do it. Pond number one. We're done with it. Luke caught three. I caught one. 
And next thing we're gonna do is hike up that way and go to the next pond. Maybe there's gonna be more fish, maybe there's gonna be bigger fish, but I don't know. It's just all part of it today. Just seeing what's happening in the different ponds. And we've never fished these before, so it's kind of cool to see what new ponds have to offer. Lucas was down on that end of the pond in some deeper water and we were thinking and I was like, you know what it was? You were catching all the fish because you were in the creek channel. So now we're going to take that info and go to the next pond and fish in the deeper water where the creek channel is and see if we can get some more bites. We're at pond number two. Lucas, where are you throwing? What is it, a salamander? A little zoom salamander on a shaky head. I'm going to stick with this spinner bait and see how it goes. Two different presentations, see what they like. Let's get after it. All right. This water is a little more stained than the last one, so this will be good for the chartreuse spinner bait. Oh, there's a little bluegill. Out here out fishing me. Oh. He's got your wrap, dude. There you go. Dink. He's tiny. They're out here. Yeah, they're just. Oh, man. We gotta find them. Yeah. So pond number two was kind of a bust. Lucas caught one, but we're gonna head on down to the third pond and see what's inside that. Just kind of getting the lay of the land, you could say. A lot of walking, but could catch some donkeys. We're at the third pond now. I really don't know what this one's going to be like. The water level looks like it's gone down quite a bit. It looks pretty shallow. We'll give her a go though. Pond number three was kind of a bust. It was about a foot deep. And there's an algae bloom on it already. And it's February. I don't understand what's happening to the world. But I think it's global warming. We're going to head back down to the first pond that we fished. And see what we can catch because that's obviously the best one of the three. Two miles that way. We'll give the old Texas rig a go here. Texas rig crawfish. Casting into the wind sucks. I got one! Oh, it came off. Son of a gun. He was pulling hard, dude. Oh, it's too shallow over here. Like, I thought about taking my shoes off and walking out there. Cause it's like ankle deep for about 10 yards. Nice little fish for y'all. Mm. 
I'm gonna stick with the old faithful. Hope I don't get hung up in weeds. There's not a lot of weeds in here. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Second time I've told you what to use and you're catching the crap out of them. Man, she hit that hard, dude. That was a good feeling. Hey! Right there. Got him. First cast. Well, it was a good day. Yeah. Long day, we're sunburnt to shit. Sorry for the foul language, but literally, it hurts. <laughs> I mean, we're sunburnt. <laughs> we're, <bad>. we're beat <laughs> red. But. End of the day, Lucas caught seven. seven, I caught two. They they were liking the shaky head and the spinner bait. So for all of you guys out there trying to catch fish right now, that's what we caught them on. Deepest part of the pond. Deepest part of the pond, shaky head and spinner bait. Throw that spinner bait out there and it sinks. And then you slowly yep. crawl it back and the shaky head, you just cast it and do your shaky head thing. Not a bad day, better than I expected, honestly. Come out, tried some new ponds. We didn't know what to expect, really. Ranger Rick kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Ranger Rick threw us over here. He's like, you can't fish over on this side, but you can go over there. I'm like, okay, fine. Even though there's a pond way back yonder that I went to last October and just slayed them. Nothing big, but you know, good pound and a half fish. So. If you guys want to pick up one of these shirts, go over to MallyWackerOutfitters.com. Mallards, bro. Mallards, bro. And pick one up, these hats as well. Help support us and what we do. So I think that's all we got today. No, I actually got one more thing. We're about to set up a donation page on Mallard Wacker Outfitters, uh, the website. And we're going to be doing a Ducks Unlimited banquet March 25th. And so, I mean, we're gonna donate as Mally Wacker Outfitters, but you can donate to us and then we'll put a big donation in to DU. Um, we're part of the Flint Hills uh, committee right now. And so if you want to, we'll have that up within the next couple days. And uh, if you want to support, uh, go to our website. We'll set up a link somehow, some way to donate. It might be a GoFundMe, but strictly for du and the ducks and i know it's fishing season but there's always ducks to remember so and we're we're hitting the duck depression stage right now where we want to kill a duck but i know you guys i know you guys want to also but it's it's gonna be good stick with us fishing season we're just, gonna slam them it's just picking up just right getting now. started so and uh within the next week or so we'll have a boat my dad's bringing down the boat for us and uh, it's gonna be fun. So stick with us. Don't be upset we're not doing anything special for you guys. I mean, come on now. It's just it's that awkward February, time of year. It's February, right between. It's February and 75 degrees outside. I'm sunburnt. Yeah, sunburnt in February. <laughs> All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, let me know if you like it. Subscribe if you have not already. You can follow me on Snapchat, which is KS Fisherman. I also have a Twitter and an Instagram. My Twitter is KS underscore Fisherman and my Instagram is Kansas underscore Fisherman. That's all we've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you on the next one.